This segment takes a closer look at a horse's running line in the racing program. Each horse has what is called a past performance line, depending on the number of races a horse has run. Below the horse's name, color, age, and breeding info, you'll find the lines for a horse's performance. Let's take a look at Kelly's little secret. Starting from the left, you'll see the date of the race, May 22, 2016, followed by the number 4. That's the race number on that day's card. Next, you'll see the letters MTH. That's an abbreviation for Monmouth Park. Each track has their own abbreviation. GD, next to the T in the circle, means the course was listed as good, meaning there was a little give in the course. If you go to the third line, you'll see FM, meaning the turf course was firm and had less give. The number 24, next to the T, is the temporary rail position in feet from the permanent turf rail. Now to the right of that is the distance. In this case, they traveled one mile and one sixteenth. Then you have the time splits for the race in the next three spots. The last is the final time. In this case, a minute 45.83 was the final time. Next is the three with the up arrow, meaning the race was for three-year-olds and up with the F in the square, denoting the race is for fillies and mares. The horse's claiming price is to the right of that, meaning she could have been bought from that race for $12,500. In parentheses, you'll see the claiming price for all runners in the race, from $12,500 to $10,500. The dash with the C next to it means that the horse was claimed, or bought, out of that race and is now racing for a new barn. The number two is the start position for the horse when the race begins, followed by the horse's running positions throughout the race and the margin in lengths that it was behind. The final number is where the horse finished in the race, in this case, eighth, losing by seven and three quarter lengths that day. Next is the jockey's name, the weight a horse will carry, 119, and equipment carried by a horse. Next to that are the odds, in this case, 340, meaning you would get $3.40 back for every dollar wager. And then there are pace figures to help you handicap. The 79 is the equibase pace figure, the highest number is the best. Next to that, number 71 is the equibase speed figure, the higher the better. Next, you'll see the top three finishers from that race, and if a horse is italicized, it means it has already come back to win. Then you'll see the comments for that race regarding that horse. And finally, the last number is the amount of horses running that day. There's obviously a lot of information to take in, but with a little time, you'll be picking winners before you know it.